That objection is so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the House prepares to address the latest proposal by the majority to take over our government or have the government take over our health care bill, health care system, I want to say that there's many things wrong with this trillion-dollar health care plan. It's bad for our economic health. It's a prescription for larger deficits, higher taxes, more job losses. But worst of all is what it does to women, families, seniors, and small businesses. Women make two-thirds of the health care decisions in our country. As mothers, wives, and daughters, we work to protect the family members around us. In fact, the vast majority of Americans' health care professionals are women, 90 percent of nurses, almost a third of our doctors. If Pelosi's health care proposal becomes law, women will no longer be able to make those responsible decisions for their families. Government bureaucrats will. There's no doubt that we need changes in our health care system. But let's not take away power from moms and turn it over to the government and, and call that reform. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.